hi there and welcome to my channel today i bring to you keto nigerian keto breakfast ideas it could be nigerian it could be intercontinental but i am in nigeria so these are nigerian inspired meals or meals you can afford to make in nigeria right here so if that sounds like something you're interested in keep on watching is going to be the grilled chicken and some vegetables i have in my plate um some pepper and some um chopped parsley i added garlic powder sorry ginger powder and now i'm putting garlic powder because as usual if you are if you're an og on my channel you know i don't joke with my spices so i'm going to further put cameroon pepper because i love the heat also how would i be eating chicken without the heat i don't need to feel like i'm on a you know restricted diet so i have to put in my cameroon pepper some salt and obviously my laser olive oil and i'm going to put a generous amount of this and if you haven't watched my ketone haul where i was showing my products that i got for my keto diet all most of all these things are there so make sure you check that video out to find out the prices and the carb um composition nutritional facts and so on and so forth so i'm using my finger to mix the ingredients all together because my finger always will always do a good job so this is my chicken is this wing or laps oh this is laps this is chicken laps and for a moment i thought i should use a brush but you know what i decided to use my hand again because my hand will always do a good job like i mentioned earlier so i'm just patting in the spice you know so get into my chicken properly and i want it to be soaked in the spice i took a knife also to cut in through the chicken so that i can you know push some spice into it and then i don't have the inside of my chicken very bland and tasteless so i cut through it and added more spice into that place this in the oven so it could cook and if you don't want to i mean some people don't like putting their um chicken directly into the oven they like to boil first you can boil and after boiling put in the oven and if you don't have an oven you can um, fry it if you want just just i said jokes just make sure you are using a good oil to fry it so you don't have any issues with them um, oil and so on and so forth so i'm having this chicken with them um, vegetable and this is lettuce that i'm going to finely chop or i'm going to finally chop all of it because we need some vegetable to add in our diet and some tomatoes but hey tomato is not keto compliant so be very very easy on the tomatoes and a little bit of tomatoes wouldn't you know jeopardize your keto career so why not have some tomatoes just for you know some color fusion here and there in my plate and some aesthetic <laughs> you know i like my food looking really really uh, uh, alluring looking really attractive so that's why i put the tomatoes there so my chicken is done and look at that juice <clears throat> that juice is not one to play with you see that juice <laughs> just sprinkle it all over your chicken once it's done and here is my breakfast so you can pop this in the oven while you're in the shower and before you come out it will be done chicken doesn't take time to get ready my next meal is going to be pudding and this is my almond milk that i got i also made mention of this the calories the carbohydrates there and for a better look you can see it here it has zero carbohydrate zero sugar i'm going to put a generous amount of this into my bowl and i made mention of this in my former video where i was talking about my haul i will leave a link again and i'm going to put my chia seed into my cup or into my bowl in the milk and i like using a spoon to measure so i'll know what i'm doing and this is my sweetener 
<laughs> go easy on the sweetener sweetener is sweet i would like to even say it's sweeter than sugar if i'm permitted to say that so i'm going to give this a generous mix here and there and make sure everything is soaked and submerged into the milk you don't want anything to be left out so i just gave this a very very good mix and left this to um swell because it actually swells so i covered this up and left it to swell while this is you know baking cooking preparing whatever it is or swelling i'm going to chop off my toppings and i'm starting with strawberries i know you guys say strawberries don't look or they don't taste like they look <laughs> they look so beautiful so pretty and then <laughs> it tastes like lemons but <laughs> i love the taste i love sour taste so i put strawberries on top of as the topping of this um pudding so you can see here my chia seed has turned to pudding this is tapioca this is oats you can try this with them um, coconut milk if you want but i had almond milk available so you know you can knock, knock yourself out with them um, the coconut milk you can try almond milk some people you can't use oat milk because i think um it's not keto compliant so i don't think you can use oat milk so i also added some blueberries to my um my pudding and i made this coconut flakes it's not burnt i sprinkled cinnamon on it okay some of it are burnt i sprinkled cinnamon on it anyways so i went to put this coconut flakes besides i made this on my insta story on instagram so i make some little little recipes here and there on my insta story so you can also follow my instagram so you can catch up with my simple tiny recipes that i do on there because i don't get to put everything here on youtube so i'm adding the coconut flakes to my um pudding and also some flaxseed because why not some extra fiber and this is the period where i get to have keto constipation so i need to you know level up with the fiber and here is my pudding guys the amazing thing about this pudding is that it is so filling and <laughs> sometimes i don't even get to finish this and this tastes amazing and with the toppings you have their varieties guys all right so my next meal is going to be <laughs> normal english breakfast we all know we all <laughs> see everywhere here and there it's going to be bread eggs and sausages and i would have added bacon if i had but i didn't so i have three eggs here i'm adding salt cameroon pepper to this because i love heat i don't know how many times i'm going to mention this but i love heat in my food i love spice in my food i love when you know my taste buds are so impressed that wow there is a good food <laughs> that kind of feeling so i'm going to whisk all this together so oh my god <laughs> I'm going to whisk all this together so everything is um, evenly distributed in my um, bowl and pour some olive oil, a generous amount of olive oil into the pan and pour my eggs and leave this to fry. So, I don't know if you know but I have a bad flipping skill. I used to think it was because of the spoon I used, I was using to fry but then I tried a flat spoon all those flats you know other spoons that they used to flip but <laughs> it didn't work out this is the only thing I struggle with in cooking my flipping it is so terrible and if you have watched my first ever keto video I mentioned it there and <laughs> it happened there I'll also leave a card up so you can check out my first ever keto video where I was sharing more than five meals you can have on a keto diet so i ended up messing the egg as usual because i have a bad flipping skill once this is done i'm going to transfer it into my plate and then toss the um sausages into the hot pan also and just keep rolling it all you know shifting it up and down till all the sides are fully done and i know this looks like there is a lot of heat under the pan trust me this was reduced to the lowest 
form of heat that could come out but it kept on burning because i think the oil was there and some other things and my sausages are done so i'm going to transfer this into my plate I know you'll be wondering where I got this bread from. I got it from Keto NG. These are her bread rolls and they taste so amazingly. This doesn't even make me feel like I am on a keto diet. So my breakfast is done. This is so easy, very simple to make. If you're in a hurry, bread and egg is enough. You don't need to necessarily make the sausages. And if you are not so much in a hurry, the chia pudding is amazing. In fact, you can make that if you're in a hurry because it takes about 5 to 10 minutes before this chia pudding, you know, sets. And you can even make the chia pudding and take it along with you to work, to, you know, your meetings. And it gets set when you're on the way and you know your toppings can be in a pack and just sprinkle it there this on the other hand is kind of time you know time consuming you can have this in the oven take a shower by the time you come out it is done thank you for watching this video and make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't and i'll see you in my next one